Hey, what's up, everybody? It's here, Untouchable Wolf. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe for more Hell Divers 2 how to videos and live streams. And thank you so much for your support, it truly does mean a lot. Today, I'm talking about how to use the AR23P Liberator Penetrator. You can find it on page six of your standard Warbond page for 40 medals. And there we go, right there. I'm gonna show you about the stats. When it comes to the penetrator now it says a modified liberator fitted with a scope and fire firing armor piercing rounds to help users take down armored targets we have the damage at 45 the capacity at 30 the recoil at 19 the fire rate is 640 and the medium armor penetrating is the weapon trace which is very important here now I'm going to show you some live gameplay in just a few, but I want you all to let me know your thoughts about this weapon in the comment section down below. One of the major differences with this weapon is that it has a burst and a semi-automatic mode. So now this can be a disadvantage. For example, if you are a solo player like me, like I enjoy playing solo, um, I do play with subscribers but um, I really enjoy playing solo. So when you're playing solo, you need to fight a ton of enemies. I mean, just overall, we're fighting tons of enemies as many of you all know, but the disadvantage is the burst and semi is just not gonna get that many enemies that are coming at you um, like when, crazy, you know, especially if you get at those high difficulty levels and you're trying to fight tons of enemies, especially when you're like in the extraction and you got the semi um, automatic mode or the burst is just not gonna get the job done overall that's why i do enjoy using the sg225 uh, breaker shotgun 1025 breaker shotgun i just really love that automatic shotgun but you definitely want to take a really good support weapon when we're talking about using the uh, ar23p liberator penetrator because of the uh, the mode it does come with a really really cool scope but this is advantage of this weapon is that you're if you need you know for, for example if you're trying to take down uh because this this weapon is really good with the robots more than the bugs but if you're trying to take it down a particular bot say for a challenge maybe a devastator or some something with me with you know armor this weapon would do really good because it's penetrating um as the penetrating bullets so you see the the firing armor piercing rounds so um yes the damage right here at 45 compare that to the damage of the standard ar-23 liberator is more you're gonna do greater damage because it has those armor piercing rounds that can take down the armored target so if you're going against an armored target this weapon could be really really good and that's another thing that i want to talk about when it comes to just the overall you know when it comes to like what weapons you like and this is why i do want to tell you guys when i break down my videos and when i break down the weapons i like to show even the basic thing and some people would be like untouchable wolf okay why are you talking about the radical or the weapon design or how it looks we want to hear more about this i'm doing it because everybody is different everybody has a play style that is unique to them like when you're trying to buy a car you you might not care about the rims or if the car has a sunroof but man i want a sunroof on that car and i'm not if it don't have a sunroof I'm not gonna like you so when it comes to weapons it's the same thing the reticle you might not you might not like the reticle even if the weapon is op you're not gonna get it because of that reticle so i like to break down everything in my weapon videos to the basics all the way you know as much information as i can so i really do appreciate everybody just you know watching my videos and commenting we're on the road to 60k subscribers almost there so thank you so much for your support it truly does mean a lot but i just want you guys to know it's all about your play style you might really enjoy this weapon and and love it okay so it's, it's a burst weapon and it might not do good it gets tons of enemies but you still might love love it because that's your play style so just keep in mind when you're playing hell divers 2 and you might be searching around reading comments or searching around trying to find the best weapon for you and all that you just gotta experiment and try different weapons and then go for what you like because um the next person is gonna be different you gotta go about what's the the best um weapon the best play style that fits you so for that being said let's see some live gameplay of this weapon right now so let's go and let's do this and let's have some fun
all right so i'm gonna show you some gameplay first without enemies so i'm holding the left trigger i'm zooming in and you see right here the reticle now if you hold the square button you can change the the scope the zoom in meters so you see right here i'm at 150 we're gonna go to 75 let's go to 25 and set it at 150 this is a um, you know your standard set set that is set on. You can go to burst. You see that recall right there? This recall is something else. All right, so when it comes to semi, that's a little bit of recall. I mean, it just has recall on this weapon. All right, so you see the recall time is really really good. Um, you want to make sure to have when uh, you're using this weapon. I do a uh, suggest using a good supporting weapon i'm using the stalwart now let's see some action with this weapon let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below do you really enjoy this weapon do you think it's effective like i said i think it's okay um i really enjoy using my breaker shotgun 225 breaker so but I can see doing specific type of enemies with this weapon. I do like the scope. Here they come. Definitely with the bots, you want to aim for the head. Let's go ahead and change it back to burst. Go ahead and let's see here. See if I can actually get this to work. Re reload time is not bad at all. Okay. And uh, you guys want to make sure to aim for the head when it comes to the um, bots. So overall, when it comes to this weapon, I think it can be effective if you're going against a particular enemy and it has to be like you know you know when we're doing it i mean it doesn't have to be this is what you prefer but if you like um using this as your go-to that's that's good for you but um my go-to uh, you know like the breaker shotgun but if you're going for a particular um enemy a challenge devastator and you're maybe with a group of people that can help cover you but when you get to the higher levels you're gonna have uh, more difficult enemies and you know a lot more so i think you go with the fully automatic weapon so this is a clear example of like when you're having tons of enemies coming at you and you're trying to use this weapon just think the like the breaker shotgun even like a secondary <laughs> can do better so let me know your thoughts about this weapon in the comment section down below. And if you found my video helpful or entertaining, please make sure to give me a like rating and subscribe for more Hell Divers to how-to videos and live streams. And thank you so much for your support. It truly does mean a lot. Thanks for watching and take care. And more Wolf videos will be coming soon. Later. Peace.